welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be making this German night helmet. So again, I'm making a helmet, so I'll use my head cast for this project. So the first thing that I want to do is put an old t-shirt over it just to uh, increase the size a little bit, just for some extra space inside the helmet. And then what I'm going to want to do is cover that in plastic wrap because I'm going to paper mache over uh, the cardboard so I don't want to dirty up the shirt. So I want to minimize that a little bit. So the first thing that I did is I had a ring of cardboard going around the head. And then after I glued that in place, I glued another strip going over that way. And that's pretty much where I'm going to start my paper mache job. I'm just going to cover it in paper mache. Uh, let that dry out and that'll be the base of my helmet and that's what the plastic wrap and shirt are for. As you can see, I covered it in a bunch of wet newspaper strips covered in flour and water mixture and it's okay if the first layer doesn't look pretty, you just want to make sure you have a base on first and then smooth it out with your remaining strips. Now that my base is hardened up, I can just, you know, peel it off over the plastic just like that and you have this shell that will fit over your head which will be the base for the rest of this project and i'm going to trim the edge because it's really jagged and that will have protected the um head cast from getting too dirty from all the paper mache then just get yourself a big piece of cardboard that's around 20 inches long and then bend it along the corrugation and this is going to go uh, from the back which is right here uh, it's going to wrap around and i'm going to glue it around the rim just like that, except at an angle slightly. So I trimmed off this excess right here, which shortened it all the way down to here. Next, I'm gonna cut out a curve right here on both sides, which also reduces the length of the helmet. Then I'm just gonna use the excess I cut off and glue it to the back at an angle as well. Just like so. Now moving on to the visor, I cut out two pieces that look just like this. And the reason it's like almost an L right here is so I can hinge it to the temple right here and there will still be a gap for me to see through. And I cut two pieces at an angle uh, at the front there and when I glue them together, it should look like this. And then I'm going to attach it with pins to the side just like that. Just like that. And I used um, skewers to make hinges so it can move up and down for some more vision. Now what I did is I got this one piece of scrap cardboard and I put it close to the side and then traced out with a pencil the curvature of the helmet. So then I could put a little um, piece of detail right on the center of the head. All just for that little detail right there as you can see and it will make a difference. Now what I want to do is just spray paint it a silver like the rest of my traditional knight armor I usually do. And that's going to be it for the helmet portion. There is a neck piece I'm going to build next. Oh, and one last thing I just decided to do is make a top piece that will connect to the flip up visor here just to add some more uh, depth and texture to the helmet. Um, it's going to be like a forehead piece and each side is cut out like this with a curve down the middle so when I glue these two pieces together it will bend over and now that's on there um, I'm going to move on to the neck piece but if you're gonna wonder how I made this um, so I can see the time in this video go watch the video I put up here on how I made my other night helmets it'll show you how to make this skull piece on the forehead uh, in a better explanation but now for the neck piece I have these templates if you watched the uh, night armor video of I think part one it was I had these templates I made um, I used aluminum foil I wrapped around only one side of my neck up to the lower part of my chin then covered it in one layer of duct tape and then I took it off and then cut it into these templates I can transfer on the cardboard and then make cardboard templates to make a smooth neck piece I've got all my templates laid out for the neck piece and as much as it seems like I'm skipping steps to the next part, all you gotta do is bend those templates and then glue them together. Uh, I did shapes to uh, indicate what connects to each other. Again, you'll see that in the, the video card I put up on the top of the screen. But after you're cutting it out, uh, after you're done assembling it, make sure to trim along the edges just to remove some excess cardboard. 
uh, also to even it out because it does come out a little ugly so just you know smooth it out with scissors next I cut out this piece it's not any exact measurement it's just this specific shape because it's going to cover the rest of my mouth for protection so it'll flip up and down and it is about 11 inches long and um, I'm going to hinge it with fasteners to the side right there it should look just like this and it will stay in place with the friction. So make sure to uh, pull it over snugly, but not too tight because you don't want to destroy the cardboard. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I broke up some of these clothespins. I'm gonna flip it over like this and then glue one right here with a little bit of overhang on that side and on that side so I can put a rubber band and close it. As you can see, it is doing its purpose and it's keeping it closed and also kind of stretchy. And I painted everything as well. So the mask portion is painted and I let it dry for a few hours and so is the helmet. And I like the nice shiny chrome steel look it has. And uh, this is what it looks like. English inspired, Germany inspired. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.